Dish by Trish, and tonight we're making a family favorite and everyone's favorite, pizza. The difference between our pizza is it's carbless. Let's get started. We're gonna start with one package of fat-free or light cream cheese, one cup of Parmesan, or we like this Parmesan Romano blend, two egg whites, which is two one-fourth cups. Fourth cup, and do another fourth cup. Sprinkle a little bit of garlic. And this is actually your pizza crust. We're gonna mix together so you have a nice creamy texture for the crust of the pizza. After your you get a creamy texture, and sometimes you could add more egg whites if your texture is not as creamy as it needs to be, or if you like a thinner crust. Make sure you spray your pan. And this is a 16 by 11. This cream cheese becomes your crust. spread as evenly as possible. It's time to go in the oven. Make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. After you spread it, it's ready to go. We put this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Keep checking it to make sure that it's nice and golden and a little um, crispy. We cooked the crust for about 20 minutes and you can see it's nice and golden brown. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the pizza sauce and the toppings, of course, of your choice. As you can see here, these are our choices. I sauteed the ground beef black olives, orange and red peppers, turkey bacon, mushrooms, grilled mushrooms, green chili, and scallions, chopped scallions. First, the pizza sauce goes onto the crust, just like any normal pizza. Now that you spread the pizza sauce, you're ready for mozzarella. You could choose the type of cheese of your choice. We prefer veggie cheese. Then you could start with your toppings. First the meat. Now the black olives. Red and yellow bell peppers. Turkey bacon. Mushroom. Scallions. Now the green chili. So remember you can use any kind of toppings of your choice that you prefer on pizza. We prefer tonight these toppings, but anything works. And now at the end I'm going to go ahead and put the cheese on top. And again this is to your preference. Now we're done. This goes in the oven for about 10 minutes until all the cheese is melted and then you can enjoy. After about 10 minutes it's ready from the oven. The cheese should be melted. Looks perfect. Let it cool for about 20 minutes and then you're ready to eat it. See you next time on Dish by Trish.